<laughs> no, are you sure? Yeah, no, I mean, he, he, Jason literally pulled me aside and he like told me straight up. What? And when did this start? No, I know. Oh my god. What are you eating? Ew, that's disgusting. I just don't understand why he like wouldn't tell me. I <sighs> no, like why I mean, we dated for so long. Fuck. I don't know. I feel like you should talk to someone. Like a shrink? I don't know. Maybe talk to one of them. Really? I mean, I don't know. How does that even happen? Like, is that something that happens to someone? Is that something that they're like born with? They might have some insight that could be helpful to you. That's true. I don't know, do you think they would actually even want to talk to me? Totally, I'm sure that they would love to. You should come. Actually, don't come. I'll, I'm just gonna go alone. Hi. Gator Kitty? Gator Kitty, that's right. That's Hi. me. Um, thanks for meeting with me. You got it. Uh, yeah, so you saw my, my post. I, I just found out, like, that this person I was dating for a really long time, um, is a furry. I'm just trying to figure out, like, why they would keep that from me. I mean, obviously, like, people, I don't know. If, there's probably, like, a lot of reasons that they kept it from me, but it just makes me, like, kind of sad that they wouldn't tell me and I don't know it's like you think you know a person yeah and and I guess we can't really know anyone maybe even ourselves how long were you dating for four years four years is like a really long time to keep something like that from someone some people they can get really weird about it they'll hide it from their family mm -hmm. they'll have non-furry friends that they hide it from and they just have this deep deep internalized shame about it that's the reason I have seen that people most often hide it from people is just the shame such intense shame I mean I don't know the details of your relationship it's maybe a trust issue yeah but my mind keeps going back to shame just because because that's the main thing I've seen. How do you think we can free ourselves from shame? <sighs> that's tough. It's a lot of work. And that's something I've been consciously doing for a long time. I've been calling myself a furry since roughly 2019, 2020. I found like furry pornography, uh, which is called YIF. Y-I-F-F. -F. Okay. And I was like, wait a second, what the fuck? The furries have good porn. <laughs> like. It's absurd how high quality so much of it is. Like high production value? Yeah. There are just so many talented artists. Um like like um not not drawing, like like IRL. Or like um Oh no, not it, like mostly like art drawing. Oh it's mostly yeah, art drawing. Mostly art. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So you you found the art and yeah. you were like, whoa, this is like really like good, like high quality yeah. stuff. I mean, yeah. I just thought it was really hot. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But it, it's this like self determination thing. Being a furry is about figuring out who you want to be. Just being like open minded. Yeah. And curious, maybe. You can just do things. The goal for so many people is divorcing themselves from this internalized shame and just living free and cringe. Mm. <laughs> yeah, free and cringe. That's kind of the goal, maybe. <laughs> and my girlfriend and I are always coming up with ways we can get cringer. <laughs> really? Like what? <laughs> uh, maybe maybe I don't want to go into okay. that right now. <laughs> but um, you can just do whatever. Totally. If your ex had told you they were a furry, how do you think you would have reacted? I think if, if they had like really sat me down and like talked to me about it, maybe I would have been like, um, I mean, maybe I think I would, it's, it's outside of my, maybe at first I would have been like surprised and confused, but I think I would have tried to learn, you know? Yeah. I, yeah, I think I would have tried to learn. I mean, I really like love them, so. Yeah. When you're in love with someone, you kind of like, you do whatever. You can accept a lot. Yeah, you can accept a lot. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know. Well, uh, thank you so much for meeting me and talking to me about all of this. It's really nice of you to, like, take time out of your day. Absolutely. Um, do you want to go to Yeah, I could fuck up some <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's, let's go. All right. <laughs> I 
am a pious man. No temptation can stray me from the path of God. God. Hey, kitty. <laughs> oh.